Yo, what is going on guys? SCJ here, bringing you guys another Madden 19 video. And today, I'm gonna show you the best offensive scheme for beginners in Madden 19. Now, a lot of the YouTubers will show you great schemes, but they always seem to overcomplicate it for beginners or average Madden players. And today, I wanna show you guys an offensive scheme that I think can really help a beginner or average player start to ease into Madden a bit and take their game to the next level. All right, so back to what I was saying earlier in the start of this video about how YouTubers seem to overcomplicate things for beginners or average players, that goes as far as the substitutions and such. Now, what I meant by that is you're gonna see a lot of these videos that you'll see is YouTubers always showing you substitutions you should make or that you should use the substitutions, but personally, it hasn't helped me and it really hasn't made a difference. So I think that's one thing that I can say for beginners is don't really focus on that. I think all it does is really make it a little more confusing for a beginner player or something that's really not familiar with Madden. So I think that's something that you definitely don't need to do and just really keep it simple now personally I want to show you the I form this is personally the best scheme to me and one of the best formations in the entire game this year because the I form pro and the I form slot flex is phenomenal now we're gonna go to the I form pro and I'm gonna show you some passing plays and some different things and right here you're gonna see you get some pretty big yardage just from doing little plays like that so just using that play as an example in the next few plays that I'm gonna show you you're gonna really see that it's actually a lot easier to win games in Madden 19 than many other youtubers and many other people make it seem. All right, so we're going to go back to the iForm Pro formation and take a look at the PA comeback slide. Now, this is a play that I personally do like a lot, but I think you have to be ready for this play, and I think you're really going to make sure that you just want to get this play off quick. As you're going to see, the pressure starts coming. I had to just throw it up to Delaney Walker, but he was open and he was able to make the reception. So you're going to want to make sure you know where your players are, know your roots beforehand, and I think that's a big reason why players don't really do that well in Madden, especially this year, because you got to be ready to know where your guys are going, and some people are just so quick to call up any play and just throw it up in the air and it gets intercepted so as you're going to see right here i was able to get it right to taylor and get a nice little reception all the way downfield to about the 15 yard line so i recommend using plays like that just being patient and i'm going to show you some more examples right here with the i form slot flex which is personally one of my favorite formations in the game this year so one thing I want to talk about in Madden 19 that I talked a little bit about on the last play is really timing and knowing when to throw the ball up. So as you're going to see, the ball was actually intercepted, but it's really going to come down to timing. And you got to know where your receivers are, almost like I said. You got to know the route and you got to know just about when to throw it. Some people either wait too long or they wait, you know, not enough time. And it really ends up biting them because they throw a big interception when they need a big chunk of yardage, a touchdown, or already down a couple scores in a game. And that's a big reason why a lot of people lose in Madden 19. And I think that's one thing that a lot of people have really worked on and tried to you know get better at and those are usually the players that excel or the guys that you know understand the timing and understand just where their guys are gonna be at all times so as you're gonna see I threw a little out route right there to Derrick Henry but it didn't really go for much so you're also gonna want to know you know when it's worth to just throw it away or when you know you're gonna be able to get some big yardage on a pass just like that so I think really just knowing the, the timing and knowing really where your guys are gonna be at all time I think that's something that really is essential to Madden 19 and something that a lot of players don't really understand So the next play I want to show you is, of course, in the I-form formation, and it comes in the I-form slot flex. Now, it's the halfback toss and personally a play that I use quite a bit because it really establishes a ground game and helps run the ball down the opponent's throat without them really being able to stop. Now, you have to know this play, however. As you're going to see, really me just kind of holding that sprint button, I wasn't able to get much, and you're going to see some more examples of that on these next few plays. However, if you're really patient and you just really let the blocks develop, you're going to be able to get some big yardage. But if you're just going to keep running and running and keep holding that right trigger on either PlayStation or Xbox, you're going to see that you're not going to get huge yardage. But when you do be patient and you are patient, you're really going to be able to come up with some great results and you're going to actually have a pretty big chunk of yardage. And I've actually broken plays for about 90 yards sometimes just by using Derrick Henry or an established running back such as Le'Veon Bell or Todd Gurley when playing an online game. And it really helps because sometimes you can even get up to about 300 or 400 rushing yards a game just using this play because the opponent really struggles to stop it as you're going to have a lot of your guys developing blocks downfield for you and such. And if, like I said, you just make sure that you're not running into your guys and holding that sprint button. You're going to really yield some great results with this play. Yeah, guys, this is just a quick little tutorial and a quick little tip video. I wanted to show some of the beginner or average players at Madden that can really improve their game and help them ease into a more competitive style and play with some of the better ones in the game. So personally, this is something that, like I said, it helped me really ease into the game and something that I wanted to show everybody else because it seems that a lot of times YouTubers will really overcomplicate 
really the strategy and the scheme and it can really leave some people kind of questioning and wondering how they're going to do that in the game because it is a bit complicated for them. So this is why I wanted to show some beginner players how it really works and some of the things that I did when I was starting to learn how to play Madden and really get back into the game. So if you like this video, please smash that like button and hit that subscribe button so I can bring you more Madden 19 coverage. And until the next one, guys, SCJ out. Peace.